Hello, in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to export SAV stickers for print in a large format machine in CorelDRAW. It's very simple and very, very easy to do. So, I'll be showing you my step by step process on how I export them and um, print them myself. So, um, without any further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, so um, this is a sticker I designed. So, I uh, will be making use of it. For this video tutorial so um, i'll be showing you the final output and um, the printing process once i'm done with the video all right so um let's paste this control v sav stands for self-adhesive vinyl so um just keep that at the back of your mind all right so this is the sticker i made so i want to print 100 of this so um, i'll show you how to lay them and prepare them for print Right, so SAV comes in five feet. That is about sixty inches. So um, I've not seen anyone that is more than five feet. So uh, we'll be using that for this. All right, so we go to our toolbar section. I'll select the rectangle tool. All right, so we we'll just draw a random rectangle. Then you select this. Then make sure the unit is in inches. So we're working with inches rather than feet, right? So um, 12 inches makes a feet. So I'm um, using it for this. So um, currently we we'll put this at 58. Yes, 58 or 60, but I prefer to go with 58. Yes. So if you do your calculation, five feet and um, 12 inches makes one feet. So 12 times five, that is 60. But we're using 58 for this. So um. 58 by let's say 24 that is two feet right get the math and hit enter so you zoom out so this is it all right so um i want 100 of this and by default i know 100 won't be able to be contained in this easily all right so this is what i normally do so um once this is here I lay them on this area I created. All right, so we just bring this here. So you hold Control and you drag and hold Control to maintain balance. So you might decide to leave a space, but I prefer to leave a little space so I can cut. So um, just drag this here. You zoom closer to get a proper view. Hold Control and leave a little area where your can cut easily depending on what you're using to cut and right click to create a duplicate and control r to repeat the same process control r r r r until it gets to the end so i'm okay with this yeah to so highlight everything control g all right so um we want to fill this sticker with we want to fill this sticker in this empty area here all right so we just hold control again and zoom closer for a better view all right so hold control then drag and right click to create a duplicate so i'm not okay with it i want the spaces to be equal all right so hold control then drag so this is okay Yeah, then control R, 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 R. Right, so I think that's much control set. So um we can also do that control R again. So um other than the 24, you just do it 26. So what matters mostly is um the width, that is the five feet. It must be five feet by whatever you're doing. Alright, so hit enter. So I think this is enough. So we highlight everything. So I don't want to add anything at the right hand side. So I just prefer. I don't want to manage anything. So Ctrl G, then P to fit to the drawing page and select this interior and P. All right. So you can decide to give it a color white. Or you, yeah, give it a white color here. So we highlight to move the outline. Right click on this area. Yeah. I light everything 
so this is what we we'll have at the end of the day so from the top to the right we have about nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so by from the top to the left one two three four five six so that is six times nine that should give us about 54 but we need 100 of this so um i could have just expanded this more and um make it about four feet but i don't want that why because um i would rather prefer to print this twice than um so that i can have a higher resolution rather than printing um, everything at once i hope that's clear enough so um i will make the size a little bit smaller and increase the resolution so that it can come out very well and print this twice so if i print 50, um this set first that is 54 then um i print it again that is 108 so that is what i normally do so once you're done i like everything then group ctrl g then you export ctrl e yeah so we'll select our file location so um so yeah so the file type will be s a l s a v will be tiff sorry the file type will be tiff bitmap yeah it must be a tiff bitmap then you give it a name so i prefer to use the size and the name of the brand i'm working on or whatever i'm doing so um it's going to be 58 by 26 by 26 then um just give it a name all right so um we've selected the file location and um giving it a name and make sure you select this selected only so once you're done you click on export so um depending the bigger the size the more time it will take to export finish so once you're here um you have the width to be 58 just like we chose and the height to be 26 and the resolution here to be 250 so this is okay and um the color mode this is very very important so it should be selected to cmyk it's very important don't forget about that so um and um transparent background should be checked so once that is done every other thing is default then you click on okay So this is what we have at the end of the day, the exported file. So this was the one I printed already. So they are the same thing. So the size, the file size is 359 megabytes. So um, and the file type is TIFF file, like we exported this as. And um, this was the one I printed already. So they are the same thing. Image description and every other thing are the same. So guys, um, that is it on how to export this. So once you give this to your printer, he doesn't need to do anything. He just put it into um, the machine and it starts to print so it doesn't have to do much work and then um, you get the experience too so um that is it on this video guys and um here is a image on how i actually printed or a video on how i actually printed it the process i followed so um so this was when the design was on the machine and was ready to be printed and um as you can see the exported file on the screen and the machine getting warmed up to be printed um also and um this is when it starts to print and um if you look this is what we have on the screen and this is the output on the machine so um this is called the flex machine and this is the output of the job and the white material has been printed on is the SAV. So guys, um, that is it on this video tutorial on how to prepare your sticker for prints on an S4, on an SAV um, machine, on an SAV material in CorelDRAW. It's very simple and very, very easy to do. Right, guys, um, if you found this video helpful, go out to hit on that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos and don't forget to like, share and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video tutorial.